Hi, Ray here from Our Sacred Seeds, where we talk about everything to do with food, nutrition, and how it relates to personal and planetary health. What I'm going to show you today is how you can use effective microorganisms to immediately transform your compost pile. Now there are multiple ways that you can actually start to decrease the amount of smells and odors in your compost pile. One of the greatest ways is to turn it, to aerate the pile, to actually get more oxygen present and to add in more carbon rich materials. You get less putrefaction, less stinky odors, less CO2 and methane entering into the atmosphere so you're decreasing greenhouse gases and you're going to produce a better product that you can use in your garden to amend your plants. We are very fortunate to have lots of fruit trees, lots of nut trees, lots of olive trees. Here we have an acreage here. There's over five hectares on our property of land that's being used. And these fruit trees that we have down over this horizon, you can't see them. We have a lot of peaches, we have a lot of plums, we have a lot of apricots. And right now we are unable to harvest our apricots and our plums fast enough. The reason is, is we're busy. We're trying to create awesome content for you while trying to manage this property and it's very difficult, so. Okay, three steps very simple that you can do right away. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in some carbon materials. We have lots of bamboo leaves. We harvested a bunch of bamboo and this is what we got. A big tub of bamboo leaves. There's lots more. We don't know what to do with it. They're very slow decomposed. Bamboo leaves have a lot of lignans. They have a lot of complex carbohydrate fibers that bacteria can digest but it takes time. Now, what that means is it's gonna make this compost take a lot more time to decompose. I'm gonna speed that up by adding these effective microorganisms. These are facultative anaerobes, primarily, of over 80 microbial strains. And what they're going to do is they're able to withstand different environments. They can live in a environment that is devoid of oxygen, as anaerobes or they can live in an environment that it has ample oxygen as aerobic bacteria. So what we want to do is make this aerobic because this is going to speed up its decomposition while increasing other microbes that will be beneficial for your garden. So microbes that are not going to produce harmful metabolites, byproducts like alcohol and scattles and indols that are going to harm the roots of your plants. So. Very simple. We're taking these effective microorganisms and I'm going to add it into this liquid of water. You need about 3 to 5 percent is sufficient. Okay, very easy. Just take it in, pour it in with some water. Now, I personally, I'm not a precise, precision man. I don't always measure my applications. I start to build a relationship and I can start to tell how much is too much, how much is too little. You don't need a lot of water on your compost pile. You need enough just so that when you squeeze it, it's going to be like a wrung out sponge. It's not going to drip water, but yet it's still moist. Okay, so I don't have a lot of water in this container, but I've added just enough. Okay, so I'm going to turn this once, and as I do so, I'm going to add in bamboo leaves and effective microorganisms. Here I go. Now you want to make sure that as you turn it, you start with a lot of carbon at the bottom of the pile. This is going to help more oxygen come into the pile and it's going to balance the nitrogen. Don't worry when you start to water your pile and you see, if you're using bamboo leaves, that they're not soaking in the water. If you cover your pile after you've turned it, and you've given it sufficient water, the bamboo leaves will start to absorb it. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and learn about how effective microorganisms can speed up your composting process, reduce the amount of times you have to turn the pile, and eliminate smelly odors, flies, and other pests. 
Now, if you have any specific questions or comments, please let us know. We'll be happy to answer them below here on the feed. And here's a question for you. What is your preferred method of composting and why? Let us know. And remember that the regeneration starts with you.